what's going on, y'all? We got the sun in Cancer and we got the moon in Libra. Finally got a good setup for you guys to actually see the extended Starcast reports. Hear me well and keep our quality up to par. So with that being said, you guys can see the screen with me now as well. We got the sun in Cancer and we have the moon in Libra. What does this mean for the collective energy? What does this mean for the zodiac signs? And what should we be aware of right now? And really with the sun in Cancer, we're going to be playing out actions through the things we want to take care of, the things we want to nurture, and what we want to create a home, like family type archetype around, right? Um, and when I say that, I mean like what what relationships, people, places, and things, intimate or not, friendships or not, businessships or not, right? Partnerships, et cetera. Do, are you mending right now because you want to take care and nurture those relationships because they they help fulfill you and give you in, or, or bring internal fulfillment, right? So these are the relationships that we're mending right now right, with the moon in Libra. So this was Friday and Saturday and a little bit of Sunday, but right now the moon has officially entered Scorpio. I'm just running through the Starcast report for the Libra moon transit a little bit before we get into Scorpio so you guys can understand um, what, what's going on right now, the transit and the energy. So we have the moon sextile Mercury in Leo right now. So with this being said, um, the moon was sextile Mercury in Leo, right, the Libra moon. So this gave us the opportunity to actually express and set the stage and communicate towards the relationships, people, places, and things um, we want to take care of and we want in our life, right? So Mercury gave us that little oomph and that little push to actually give us the courage to speak that, um, to think that, and to and to really analyze, right? What relationships um, do we really want to nurture? Do we really want to communicate with? And this is actually expressing, this is setting the stage. Um, some of you guys may be setting the stage in some way, shape, or form in order for these relationships to be expressed in order for your network and these new relationships and partnerships to be expressed in some way, shape, or form, right? This is like going on back. That Leo is like that on stage energy. So this can be proposals and things of that nature. You having the confidence to propose something um, for for one of your relationships to be expressed, right? Um, for someone to be seen, to someone to shine their own individual light of authenticity and individuality, et cetera, Leo energy. We also have in, we're also in conjunct the moon and Libra was also in conjunct Saturn um, in Pisces. So with that being said, there's a little bit of uncomfortability towards our structure, our finances, and our disciplinary energies um, towards our dreams, right? So how we're structuring our dreams right now could seem a little uncomfortable um, in a sense, emotionally, right? Like a little conflicting emotionally because something seems off towards um how we want to structure or foundate our, our dreams, right? Um, this could be like taking the rose-colored glasses off, setting certain boundaries that you need to set for yourself, um, right, in order for... In order for the foundation to be at ease, in order for you to feel comfortable with your foundation, there was like this uneasy um, feeling that you were having towards your foundation, towards act, not just your foundation, but towards how to create a foundation around your dreams, right? How to monetize your creativity and things of that nature, that Piscean energy, how to go about your spirituality, right? And this rut of that in conjunction is what's offering actually a strong and a great boost towards how you want to create a structure around um, things like your spirituality. Right, because it's more of a learning. The in conjunctions are more of a learning process where you're uncomfortable. You're putting a you put in a situation where you're uncomfortable, and you may not understand, um, at, in that moment exactly how to utilize that uncomfortability, right, or what that uncomfortability is offering you or wants you to learn from, right. So that in conjunction to Saturn in Pisces deals with our dreams, deals with our past, deals with our um, illusions or delusions, um, deals with our spirituality. And Saturn deals with the boundaries and structure that we have towards those things. So maybe this is you um, putting in, you know, cultivating a stronger structure towards your spirituality, towards your beliefs, towards your religion, cultivating a um, a more consistent um, structure towards your creativity, right? And, and how you express that, right? So these are all these are all very uh, important themes right now. Those things may seem a, a little un, um, uncertain, you know, the structure towards your spirituality and your faith that makes that may be lacking. And that's what you're, that's what the in conjunction is making you understand right now. So with that being said, we get pushed into going into the deep psychological realms of Scorpio waters. So as we go into Scorpio, this will be 
right? This this puts us in a space to where we understand the relationships you want to nurture, you want to cultivate. Now we go deep with those things, right? Um, that little uncomfortability that we had towards the structure of our dreams put us in a space of really setting up those boundaries and those and understanding the disciplinary energies that's needed in order to facilitate those dreams and bring those dreams into reality, right? So there are certain boundaries that need to be set in order for, you know, certain money, certain uh, foundational aspects can be there in order for your dreams to be fulfilled. Um, so you're really deeply understanding that right now, psychologically going into Scorpio, right? So as the moon goes into Scorpio, this is deep depths, this is waters. Um, with the with the sun and cancer and the moon and Scorpio, this is um a little bit of a trine, I would say. There's not an exact aspect because we don't meet the exact degrees right now. But as we get in, as the as the moon moves into Scorpio a little bit more, 15 degrees or so, we do trine Saturn in Pisces. And like I said, the sun and cancer as well, I would consider just because those are all our water energies. Um, the sun and cancer is a little bit far, it's a little bit past that five degree orb. Um, to consider it um, a trine, exactly. But there is some flow and some ease towards that sun in Cancer, just because we are also about to transit into the sun into Leo as well. We're, we're getting that late degree sun transit right now. So as the moon moves into like more 20 degrees, et cetera, then you'll see that trying to the sun in Cancer. Um, but with that being said, we will be trying Saturn in Pisces, which is very nice. It's giving us more harmony, more ease and more um, flow towards our actual structure right so that in conjunction put us in a space of uncomfortability to how we can structure our dreams but the moon in scorpio is giving us is offering us that deep that depth of psychological analyzation to understand what you need to analyze and and what you need to do what what you need to know in order to go beneath the surface to see okay um these are the dreams that <clears throat> this is what I need to do in order to facilitate these dreams. And the trying towards Saturn is offering you, it's going to seem a lot easier to set the boundaries and have the discipline right now to move forward with those dreams. It's going to seem a little bit easier for you. So utilize that energy in terms of um, the flow and the ease and the, and the comfortability of setting the boundaries and being disciplined towards your, towards your dreams, towards your faith, towards your spirituality, right? You need to you need that structure, that routine, and that moon in Scorpio is giving you that depth to go deep and understanding the routine you need. So even Sunday and Monday are good days to go over your foundation, to go over your, your uh, paperwork, to go over your business and your life and your week, et cetera. Take notes and to really understand um, the boundaries you need to facilitate this, the, the structure and routine. Um, that way you can develop the stability that you need towards your dreams, aka Saturn and Pisces. Right, that's the moon in Scorpio, and um, we're gonna be square Mercury. So the trine and the Saturn and the and and the status and um, the foundational aspect of it will be easy. The um, communicational aspect and understanding and, and analyzing aspect may seem a little challenging. So that's the that's the that's the the little hump we have to get over here. So with the with the with the moon squaring Mercury, right in Leo, the square is offering some tension, right towards. First, we have to get over the hurdle of analyzing and understanding um, first how, right, and why we need a, 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 a more structured foundation towards our dreams or delusions, et cetera, depending on what side of the pole you're on. So this is developing the why, the analytical aspect of it, the deep psychological aspect of it. So Scorpio is asking, why do you need, you're asking yourself, why do you need a, a solid structure or foundational routine? to be organized with in order to, to, to for your dreams to be to come into reality, right? And that's the question. Now you're going to start thinking. When you ask that question, your brain's going to start thinking, analyzing Mercury. And you're going to start expressing, you're going to start speaking that. You know what? I need this because of X, Y, and Z. That's Leo, the expression of it. So when you really start seeing, putting it on paper, talking to yourself about it, about why you need certain things, um, you know, really assess your foundation, assess your finances, assess you know, what's been working, what's not been working, and you'll know the answers, right? Um, so with that being said, it's going to seem like a little bit of frustration at first to understand why you need um, solid boundaries or solid routines towards your spirituality. You can notice yourself being fulfilled or unfulfilled from certain spiritualities, certain topics of spirituality, or certain 
um, topics of creativity, um, you know, that Piscean energy, faith, belief, or even religion, right? And that lack or that disconnection of your religion or your or your spirituality is is stopping your structure. So you need the you need the the structure towards your spirituality or your faith or your creativity. So that's why you that's how you have the how or the why, right? That is the why because it's gonna seem like it's gonna seem like a frustration towards doing this and having to analyze your foundation, right? Emotionally, you know that you need to do it. You're gonna feel that ease towards doing it, but you're gonna need the, the square and the frustration is asking yourself the tough questions. All right, what needs to be analyzed? Okay, what do I need to do in order to be disciplined towards my finances or status and structure, right? To to facilitate to bring these dreams into reality. What what goals and 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 things do I need to set? Um, and boundaries do I need to set in order to actually reach this destination of my dream, right? These are the practical, logical things you need to do in order to achieve your dreams. And this is why it seems like a frustration because it's not something that you want to do. It's conflicting one another. Um, one is left brain, one is right brain. Create creative is right brain. Logical is left brain. So you have to utilizing two and one and two and one can seem frustrating. This is why it's important to understand your intuition and to, and to understand your own mechanisms of analyzation so you can move forward as a, as a more content uh, spirit to feel less conflicted on your journey of when you're asking deep psychological questions like this. So as the moon is Scorpio, this will be facilitating the deep questions that need to be asked the under uh, underneath the surface so that you can actually express your authentic self and the and the and the purity of what you're truly going through whether it's darkness or beauty right scorpio is purity so this may be the depths of 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 you releasing certain forms of toxicity in a very emotional time but this is the purity of that scorpio is the purity of that and leo and mercury is the release of that and the expression of that so you may notice yourself heavily emotional right now, heavily expressive, um, deeply communicating certain topics and things of that nature based upon what fulfills you. Go towards that because you've got to intuitively, that's intuitively communing with God, communing with the divine, right? When we intuitively are pulled to something, that's God talking to us, channeling us. And when we are using, um, when we're channeling source, that's us, uh, that's us tapping into, tapping into godly energy. Right. But when you get that intuitive hunch, that's God calling you. So don't deny that. You always go with the first instinct. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little short Starcast report. It was an extended Starcast report. This is going to be a good transit with the moon in uh, in Scorpio. I hope you guys enjoy it. We only have the square. The trine is looking like. And at the end, we'll see what we got going on. Looks like we got some other things going on right at the end of Scorpio. Yes, 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 yes. See, so we'll be square in Mercury. We'll be also trying Venus. Um, and with that being said, the, the triumph for Venus is the, is that expression, you know, fixated, uh, fixated fire and fixated water. So fixated fire is the emotional expression and the, the, the feeling, right? The feeling state, you always, you always can, you, the feeling can always be seen. So it's the expression of the feeling, the expression of the emotion, um, the expression of the fulfillment or dissatisfaction, right? That's what we see right now. So that's a lot of harmony and a lot of trying a lot of that trying energy flowing towards venus so you may notice people expressing themselves um over dramatically because they are because they're feeling overly emotional and in that time as well to be mindful of that it's a very emotional transit we're also opposed mars um so with that being said there's going to be a high emphasis um and this is the last about 10 degrees of the moon in scorpio so this would be uh you would notice this energy about tuesday uh, like tuesday night Tuesday evening, flowing into Wednesday. Um, yeah. Yep, yep, Tuesday evening, flowing into Wednesday. And um, with that being said, right, with the moon 27 degrees and then the, the, the Leo energy right there, Venus. So this is your relationships and um, finances, right? So finances, it can be a deep realization to to like make a sale or express something in terms of like sales and things of that nature. If you do business in terms of sales, this could be you working more towards getting the sale, um, feeling more confident about going that, feeling more emotionally comfortable to get the sale. And um, 
for others of you guys, this is, can be this can be an expression. This could be expressing uh, drama towards relationships as well, because there's going to be a heightened level of emotion um, with the with with Venus and Leo. That emotion will be expressed towards your relationships. And right now, the Mercury is in Leo, so it's is definitely giving sassy energy. So be mindful of the sassy energy and that that blatant talk um, in terms of your relationships and things of that nature, because I can bite you in the ass after this transit. Plus, we have Mars in Taurus, which is opposite that Leo energy. It is it is opposite the moon and square Mercury and Venus. Uh, well, not Venus, but square Mercury. So um, it's going to seem like how you, how you express yourself is going to seem a little frustrating towards your passions and motivations. How you express yourself may not seem directly in correlation to what's actually motivating you. So be mindful of that. Um, be mindful of what you're quick to say. Mercury and Leo is a very blatant energy in terms of what you speak and what you say. So be mindful of your words because you're carrying a sword and a flame right now, flaming sword in particular. And Mars is your passions and motivations and your desires and your foundation, and your finances being Taurus. So also um, you may notice certain people, uh, certain relationships and things of that nature. Hindering hindering your stability or your finances, don't overly express that um, because that is a, a square, right? So you may notice, you may notice tension towards how you, how you're expressing, how you're communicating um, individually towards another, towards someone else, right? So you may notice tension on how you communicate individually with someone else towards your foundation. So there's, there's passions, motivations, and desires that you love, that you, want to found it or create stability around, but you may notice tension towards that, um, towards the relationships, be it people, places, and things, right? Because it's that square, it's that frustration. And there may need to, there may not be tension, but there may need to be a little bit more work in terms of dialogue and actually communicating, right? Because um the 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 square is 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 playing out to where it may not be everything that you're saying towards your relationships, they may not understand towards your passions, right? It's playing out that square, that little frustration. So in order to communicate your, in order to communicate your authentic self towards your relationships, you have to show some sort of um, compassion towards them. It is not about um, all of the stubborn energy. Utilize more of this mutable energy because everyone's going to be so fixed. Everyone may seem stuck in, in, in doing exactly what they want to do. And they may feel uncomfortable doing something else. So it's up to you to be more adaptable and understanding that people are going to feel more comfortable staying in one spot. And if they if they don't want to be adaptable, they may lash out and be dramatic. So be mindful of pushing people um, in order, like in, in, in terms of flexibility and dynamics. Hope you guys enjoy the Six Standard Starcast report, 7C333. I'll be back at it again with another one shortly. Appreciate you guys.